What an awesome, tiny little bird. Everybody, it's early morning and I'm going to a friend's yard in Lafayette to look for some calliope hummingbirds. And Lafayette's about an hour and 40 minutes away from me. And probably the story of the morning is this. It is super rainy and there's a winter weather advisory for fog. But I think it's supposed to clear up by the time that I'm supposed to get there around 8. So we'll see. The calliope is the smallest hummingbird in the U.S. And um, I actually remember it because it's in the big year. One of the main characters says, oh, is that a calliope? And that's what I remember. That's the first time I was ever exposed to the word calliope. And so I wanted to see one ever since. So hopefully they're cooperative, but uh, it's not looking great so far. Adult calliope hummingbirds have a gray green back with dark wings and a light colored stomach. Males have magenta rays on their throat, which in hummingbirds is known as a gorget patch. There have been two calliopes that have been seen at this location, one female and one immature male. Both birds have been banded by Eric Johnson of Audubon, Louisiana, who is an experienced bird bander, and marked on their head with a water-based paint to help tell them apart from non-banded birds. By the time I arrived, the weather had cleared. I met up with the homeowner and we surveyed the yard. I made it to Lafayette and I'm in the yard now. And there's actually eight hummingbird feeders out here, so I was kind of like, I don't know which is the best one to look at, but right away the calliope came in for a second before I even had a chance to set up and do like a little intro to the yard. So got a brief look at it. It is really tiny. Uh, the homeowner told me that they're actually the smallest bird in the U.S., not just the smallest hummingbird. Also had a two rufous hummingbirds coming and a goldfinch as well, so hopefully the calliope will come in and give us some better looks. I decided to focus my attention on the feeder in the corner where the bird was first seen, putting my tripod and one of my cameras closer to get some better videos. Right now I'm just chilling. I kind of set the tripod with my other camera up closer to the feeder to get some closer shots if the calliope comes back in. Right now it's just a waiting game. Here in a lot of blue jays, as you can probably hear in the background. Uh, there's also calling Carolina runs and uh, fish crow. For the first hour, the rufous hummingbirds were the most active, chasing each other and other hummingbirds away from the feeders. I think the calliope came in for a second, but the rufous like, was on the feeder at the time and it got, the calliope got scared off. Now the rufous is being really loud. While waiting, I also noted a variety of other birds in the yard. Eurasian collar dove. Nice. I'm actually getting a little bit nervous now because I've only got about 45 minutes before I have to leave because uh, I have a class later today. So, I don't know, I was thinking that it would pop out again by now and sit on the feeder for a while. But with all the rufous hummingbirds around, maybe going elsewhere for food. Just when I thought the calliopes might not show up, the tiny immature male came to the feeder. Oh, that's it? That's awesome. Notice how the tail and wings are about the same length. Smallest bird in the U.S. The Calliope Hummingbird is named after Calliope, the muse of eloquence and epic poetry in Greek mythology. They're the smallest bird in the United States at around three inches long, and they weigh about as much as a ping pong ball. Despite their small size, they can be aggressive during breeding season and have been known to chase hawk-sized birds away from their territory. The calliope is also the smallest long-distance migrant in the world and travels around 5,000 miles every year in an oval shape to and from their breeding and wintering grounds. 
This route takes them up the Pacific coast in spring and inland along the Rocky Mountains when returning to their wintering grounds. They are normally found in western North America, but migrating birds have been known to show up in other states. Nesting sites may occur at high elevations between 4,000 to 11,000 feet above sea level, normally in mountainous environments. Nests are often made in evergreen trees, and females may build the nest where an old pine cone grew on the branch, making the nest look like a pine cone. Calliope hummingbirds have one to two broods per year. Oh, it's so cool. The male finally came in, and I thought it'd be a little difficult to tell them apart from the other species, but the tail and wings are about the same length, and it really sticks out, and their size is really distinctive. I'm so happy that he came in. What an awesome tiny little bird. So the particular calliope that we've been seeing, the homeowner said that she named him Lucky because he's the second one that she's had and she said that she felt lucky to have two of them. I think it fits him. He's a cute little guy. Later on, the female calliope, who the homeowner named Little Lady, also made an appearance. This was a great stop. A lot of cool stuff here, but of course, my favorite being the calliope. Uh, the smallest hummingbird, smallest bird in the U.S. Can't get much better than that. I watched some of the other birds in the yard, including a rufous hummingbird that was sparring with a bee before heading out. It was an incredible experience to see two calliope hummingbirds, Lucky and Little Lady, members of the smallest species of bird in the United States. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time on Badgerland Birding. Mockingbirds and the house sparrows are out bright and early. It's always so much hummingbird drama. It's like so much sass packed into such a little bird.